Hey everybody, welcome back. Jason LeDuc from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants here. And I wanna say I'm sorry that we haven't had any interviews out the last couple of weeks. We didn't get to do our live show in September for some technical reasons. And so we don't have any interviews to bring you with great people who are successful and helping you be successful here in Las Vegas and beyond. But we didn't wanna leave you without anything for the next few weeks until our next show uh, later in October. So today we're gonna to talk about goal setting. We haven't really revisited that in a while. We're gonna do it really briefly and just hit the highlights to give you something to go off and run off and do. And we're gonna do a few more of these videos over the next couple of weeks until our next interview comes out. I don't know how many we're gonna do. I don't know what the topics are. We sent out a survey, got a few answers on that. So it'll probably be based on the results of the survey you sent us, but we wanna give you something. So today we're gonna to talk about goal setting. We did a video on this a long time ago, and then we did a video a little while after that about how to stick to your goals. We're gonna combine all that into one real brief video today to give you something to go uh, digest and then take action on as soon as you're done with the video. There's a worksheet that goes along with this. You don't need the worksheet to follow along with the video, but it's gonna be real helpful after. So just click on that link below and you'll get that worksheet that'll help you with writing your goals and following through on them, which is really the most important part. So when it comes to setting goals, there's three real areas that make a goal effective. And this comes from my days doing flight tests in the Air Force when we used to write uh, test objectives for our flight tests. And I know there's a lot of different ways that people present how you should write goals. I find this the simplest and easiest to remember. So what I always believe in is when you're writing a goal, you wanna make it clear, measurable, and achievable. Those three things. Breaking it down really simply, clear just means when you explain it to somebody else, they get it. Here's my goal, and they go, wow, that's a great goal, I get it. Measurable just means that you're putting something on it so you know how well you're doing to your goal and you know when you've reached it. Doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, doesn't have to be quantitative or require a lot of data, but it should be something you can measure because you wanna know when you're done and you can move on to your next great goal. Achievable. Achievable is different than realistic, and I'll talk about that in a second. Achievable to, mean, to me means within the bounds of the laws of physics. So the example I always like to use when it comes to setting goals uh, and making them achievable is, I wanna walk on the surface of the moon. Very challenging goal, very difficult. Most of us will never ever be able to do that in our lifetimes, but it is physically possible. And compare that to walking on the surface of the sun. Probably even more challenging and less realistic, from a how difficult it is to do stage, but also from a, a can't, is it possible in the laws of physics? Well, there's no surface to walk on on the sun, at least as far as we know. So you wanna make those goals clear, measurable, and achievable. Remember, achievable being within the bounds of the laws of physics, not how easy or difficult it is. Now, coming into realistic. For me, you wanna factor in that idea of being realistic in terms of as you start to lay out your goals, as you start to lay out all the things you're gonna to need to do to achieve your goals, breaking them into smaller goals, realistic comes in where you say to yourself, if I wanna achieve this goal, these are all of the things I'm gonna to need to do to achieve that goal. The question we all have to ask ourselves is, am I willing to take those steps? If the answer is yes, great, run off. As long as that goal is clear, measurable, and achievable, run off and go do that. Best of luck to you, here to help you in any way you can. If you're not willing to take those steps it takes to achieve that goal, that might not be the right goal for you. Maybe it is something you wanna scale down a little bit. Maybe you wanna make it a smaller goal at first and then once you achieve that goal, make, it a, make another goal to go a little further. It's all up to you, but what it really comes down to is about following through on the goals. And if you make it something that you're not willing to follow through on, you're never gonna be able to achieve it. That also brings us to framing. When we frame goals, how we write them matters. It matters a big deal because we don't frame them in a way that's going to keep us positive and keep us motivated to achieve that goal. We're just going to let it go by the wayside because it's going to feel like it's too hard. So a lot of people, when they start off the new year, they have a goal. I want to lose weight. I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to be healthier. So those first are the 20 pounds one is clear, measurable, and achievable, but the others are kind of vague, right? So, but wanting to lose 20 pounds can be, it's, it's not a difficult goal. It's clear, measurable, and achievable. But the way that's framed, it's framed in such a way that there are a lot of variables around losing that 20 pounds, right? You don't always have control over how fast you lose weight, but you do because there's a lot of variables that go into it. How much water you drink, how much sleep do you get, how often do you get to the gym, what kind of exercise you do, what are you eating? 
so many things. So that's the kind of thing, if ultimately what you wanna do is be 20 pounds lighter or be a little bit leaner, what you can do is you can create goals like I'm gonna to get to the gym five days a week. I'm gonna do cardio three days a week. Those are clear, measurable, and achievable, and they're framed in such a way that you can say, yes, check, this week I did put, I did get to the gym five days. I did do cardio three days. That's why it's really important to think carefully about putting a time component on a goal. I know a lot of people say you should always have a time component on a goal, but you have to frame that correctly. You have to do that in such a way of, am I controlling the variables in the time, am I able to control the variables or work with the variables I've got in the time frame I've set. So that's why I like things like go to the gym five days a week. There's a time function on that. Do cardio three days a week. There's a time function on that. Lose 20 pounds by the end of October. There's a time function on that, but all the variables might make that really different, difficult and might make it a little demoralizing to try to get that goal done. So following through on the goals, like we said, just as important as writing the goal itself. We've talked about writing a great goal, and this is where the worksheet is really gonna help you. Because the worksheet is gonna tell you, let me pull this up here, I got my screensaver on somehow, it wasn't supposed to come on. But, so on this worksheet, you're gonna download it, and you're gonna see the first block on this worksheet is my clear, measurable, achievable goal is. So after you put some thought in, here's my clear, measurable, achievable goal, I've framed it in such a way I'm gonna stick to it, and I put a time component on it if it makes sense, that goal is there, it's written down. The next block is, what are those action steps? What are the steps you need to take to achieve that goal? Third block, the commitments I will make to myself. This is really important to do up front because if you know what the action steps are, recognize that you need to make a commitment to do them. I need to commit to going to the gym. I commit to going to the gym five days a week. I commit to doing cardio three days a week. This is the commitment I will make to myself. And then finally, the last block on this worksheet is I will hold myself accountable by. Whether that's I've created a spreadsheet where I check off every day whether I get to the gym or not, or I'm using an app that tracks my workouts, or I have an accountability partner, which is always a great way to hold yourself accountable, is to get that gym partner to go to the gym with you and say, come on, we're going, and they say to you, come on, we're going, and the days we don't feel like going as well. This is where you do that part about is it realistic. After you've listed out all the things you need to do, the action steps, the commitments you're willing to make to yourself and how you're gonna hold yourself accountable, this is where you say, I'm willing to take all these steps. This is the goal for me. Or as I see it down on paper, maybe this is a bit more than I'm willing to take on right now and I should think about a different goal. So that's our real quick primer on goal setting. Would love to hear what the goals you are, uh, the goals that you are setting for yourself Email us at info at evilgeniusleadership.com or find us on social media, which is probably where most of you found this anyway. But send us a note, send us a message, hit us up on social media. We're pretty much Evil Genius Leadership consultants everywhere on social media, except for Twitter, which we're Evil Genius Lead. And I think if you search on Evil Genius Leadership there, you'll find us anyway. So download the worksheet, go back and look at the video, give this a shot, make your goals clear, measurable, achievable, frame them well, lay out your action steps, Lay out your commitments you're making to yourself and lay out the ways you're going to hold yourself accountable. Decide if that's the right goal for you at this time in your life. And we would love to hear about what you're doing. We will see you next time. The future is out there. Lead the way.